God's fire still burns. Sadly, much of Christ's body today resembles a modern day valley of dry bones. A wilderness filled with the bleached and out skeletons of fallen Christians. Bleached out skeletons, wow. Ministers and other devoted believers have flamed out because of besetting sin. Oh, it's a big one, isn't it? Do you wake up in the morning with bad thoughts? And they are filled with shame, hiding out in caves of their own making. Like Jeremiah, they have convinced themselves, I will not make a mention of him, the Lord, nor speak any more in his name. Jeremiah 20 verse 9. If you've got that condemnation in you, you're not likely to speak about Jesus. It's true. God is still asking the same question. He asked Ezekiel, can these dead bones live again? See Ezekiel 37 and verse 3. The answer to this question is an absolute yes. How can dead bones be made alive? by the renewing of our faith in God's word. The word of the Lord is itself a consuming fire. The only true light we have during our dark nights of despair. It is our only defense against the enemy's lies. When he whispers, it is all over for you. The only thing that will bring us out of our darkness is faith in God's word. The Lord has promised, I will not let you go down. Therefore, you have no reason to despair. Rest in my word. See 1 Kings 8.56 You may think this dark night is worse than anything I've ever known. I've heard a thousand sermons on God's word, but none of it seems of any value to me now. Mm. Do not fret. God's fire still burns in you. Exercise your faith, trust in the Lord, and you will see all your doubts and temptations consumed. God's spirit is breathing life again into every set of of dry bones and they are being revived they are crying as Jeremiah did God's fire has been shut up in me for too long I simply cannot hold it any longer I can feel the Lord's power putting life into me and I'm going to speak the word he gave me I'm going to proclaim his mercy and healing power. See Jeremiah 20 and verse 9. Be encouraged and be blessed.